Oh, y'all really want to know what's going on? I'm about to expose Rashad Jamal. Y'all didn't expect that, but there's a lot of allegations going on right now. There's a lot, a lot. Just, I'm talking like, like five charges, un, like a lot. But this is a guy, his uh, University of Cosmic Intelligence. I've watched his channel. Actually, before I discovered Kevin Samuels and Trend Genius. So I had a chance to really see him over like an extended time span. So I can kind of tell, no, I, I, no, it's not kind of, I can definitely tell a person's character over an extensive, because in the beginning you like, you only see the face, you only see what they want you to see. And I always, most of the time, well, not most of the time, but in the beginning, I would find myself, you know, always, um, feeling the opposite after I've gotten to know because I think like, oh, that's it's, this character is really genuine. Uh, it's authentic. It just wants to teach. It's not egocentric driven. You know what I'm saying? And then you learn after months that narcissistic, I'm talking Decepticon, I'm talking demonic, I'm talking sucky piss, I'm talking just manipulative aggressor. I'm talking always victim minded, never taking responsibility. I'm talking never learning from pre existence. I'm talking trying to drain you. You know what I'm saying, right? So you learn that through extensive time spans of like understanding and learning and being around in the people, right? But Rashad Jamal, man, yo, I'm about to break down Rashad Jamal. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to everything on the other side, Edos. And I'm about to expose Rashad Jamal, all right? There's a lot of things going on. Actually, he's actually incarcerated right now. Uh, he he lives up in Atlanta, and they're saying that he molested and did a bunch of other stuff. But the thing is, why would he be so known on the net? Like, my man was telling everything. Yo, me, I know not to say this. I've been knowing this for a while. I would give little bitty pieces of the puzzle, like crumbs, but I would never let everything go. My man told everything, everything. I'm saying like, even my own family, I would not tell everything to. I'll leave, again, pieces of the crumbs, little bitty slices, but I will never tell everything. My man, he'll tell you intergalactic DEA activation, who you really are, blunt. He don't care other races, how they feel. He don't care. He was nice. He was saying like, uh, Latinos too, but he means the South American Latinas. He means those indigenous Cubans and Cubanas and those Puerto Rican, like, you know what I'm saying? Those Latinas. You got to understand when you break down the DEA and what what is fabricated and what is organic. So there's two types. And doctors, they understand this because that's why they always check your blood, right? My man Rashad will say everything. Better in self, always uplifting, no matter what. And he was for the team. He was for the squad, yo. Man, what bad thing do I have to say about Rashad Jamal? All right. Never answered my, my comment. That was messed up, man. I had commented him like a couple times, you know what I'm saying? And he didn't respond. You know how that made me feel? That made me have a whole huge things of that one thing bad to say about him. A bot. It's a lot, all right? And you know what another thing is? Another thing I just don't like, I don't like that he is so good and so nice to his wife. Like, he's not even polyamorous. Like, me, I'm thinking, like, polyamorous is the future. My man, Rashad Jamal, is happy and content with his wife. Damn, man, that is a trash-ass person, if you ask me. So, I'm saying, yo. And I'm just learning from over-watching my man's videos. Like, he'll put up a lot. And then Beyond 5D will put up his videos. There's a lot of other people that will put up his videos because I wouldn't get a chance to watch all his videos because he doesn't really upload them to YouTube. So, people just take his from the website and they'll put it up on YouTube, right? Okay, cool. Because, I don't know, YouTube don't push his videos in the algorithm. But, I've seen from his own stuff that, yo... Did you know that Eniaki's here right now and he's teaching about your solar flares? That it's the X flares happened on October 2nd? Did you know that? Ain't that many leaders in nowadays. Like, my man is like the modern day Malcolm X and MLK. Well, what MLK should have done. Yeah, I learned that he's an agent too. Yeah, that's another thing. Rashad Jamal tells us who are the agents. Human beings and these Pleiadians or these draconian reptilians can't cast shit over us. They need us to do it to ourselves. So they just give us the bait. 
And I believe a lot more agents are there than we can even fathom. I'm talking like, yo, Pharaoh's an agent. I'm even thinking Trendian's an agent too. Like that's literally what I'm getting to like the bottom of right now. I'm starting to see that maybe these guys are agents too. That means, I mean, that's why there's not, not that much consistency. And that's why it's always trying to be like some kind of like subliminal program. It's like some something to get in your subliminal to lower your vibration or to put doubt or lack of or any type of low, low vibratory in the 440 hertz range. I'm saying because if you notice or even foster eBay, if you notice when people talk, they be saying this little weird stuff. They'll say good stuff, right? You know how they always give you a piece of the pie that you like, right? But then they get that good slice and then throw a bad slice with it right after. You know what that is, right? What I have it is that that's their intention to throw that bad slice. And they only throw the good slice because you got to give you something good to appear as like they're in your your corner, like they're for you. And then you throw something bad. You don't just start off with nothing bad. I think that's a rule. They even do it in the movies and everything. Whenever they show you something good, they'll immediately show you something bad right after. Pay attention to the movies. You'll start seeing too. So yeah, Rashad Jamal will be t- teaching you about like the real and who is for you and that you really you are your own corporation, you're your own entity, and that what your parents did at birth is not valid because it was without your um, your uh, your consent. So it's all non invalid It's all illegal. But you just have to step up and claim it because if you don't claim it, they're not going to tell you something. But my man Rashad Jamal say all oh, that, yo. That's what I'm saying. It was him I was listening to. It was Kevin Samuels, and it was trend trend uh, trend genius. But I would like fast forward the stuff because it's just some stuff. It, I mean, it was good for a while and then it just changed up. But with Rashad Jamal, I fast forward just the boring stuff. But I keep like the real interesting lecture. And then same thing with Kevin Samuels, too. Only when the girls appear, yo. When the girls show up, that's when I watch it, yo. That was the best thing. How you set up that thing, too, where you can just interview women and stuff like that? I feel like we should start doing that more. We should start interviewing women. If you guys agree to that, like this video. Also, comment down below. Maybe you want to get on camera. It's cool if you shy or not. Hey, man, shit. What you think this is right now? All right? But you just have to do it anyway. Who cares? You feel me? Nobody cares. And Rashad Jamal will teach, teach you that too. My man basically be himself and teach you by walking in that faith. Now, you you have to understand that you have to have a certain resilience to walk in that. To be yourself. In 2022, I was just trying to be myself. And they're trying to, you know, I understand this is spiritual warfare. So I was like, I was ignoring it. They came outside again. And these are chicks, chicks. But I already knew that they vibe was off. These are the kind of chicks that fear dudes. These are the kind of chicks that are scared. Uh, they feel they're very narcissistic. And if they can't control a dude, they feel like you, you literally took shots at them. So nothing physical. It's just basically they'll try to control control you or something like that and if they can't if they're unable to do that they'll try to lash out and emotional in any way they can any outlet they can and if they can't do that and i don't know they just you know retreat that's what most do but i'm saying is like now nowadays like rashad jamal walked in his faith and this is enlightenment if you listen to what the fuck is being said nigga because before you can do anything, you got to know who the fuck you are. You got to know why you fighting. You got to know who the enemy is. You got to learn your enemy like better than you know yourself. Your soul, your soul and spirit is the God. It's the God, okay? Your soul and spirit is the Anunnaki in you or Anunnaki in you or the God in you or the God is in you or the I am that I am presence in you. The infinite, the all. 